Welcome to the third video on mechanics 2. In this video we will be discussing how a rolling cylinder moves on an accelerating plank. In the last video we discussed about non-initial frame of reference and fictitious forces and we discussed how a pendulum moves inside an accelerating car. When you observe from the car the pendulum behaves as if someone is pulling the pendulum in the direction opposed to the direction of acceleration of the car and that force is known as the fictitious force. It will be interesting to see how a helium balloon behaves in an accelerating car. I wanted to do the experiment but I did not get any helium balloon and I don't want to roam around a lot in search of helium balloon in this COVID-19 season. But I found an interesting video from Dustin and I kept the link below, you can watch. He has made an amazing video how a pendulum behaves inside an accelerating car and how a helium balloon behaves inside an accelerating car. Please watch it, it's very interesting. In this video, we will look how a cylinder moves on an accelerating plank. To see how a cylinder behaves on the surface of an accelerating plank, I took out my car to the nearest open field I kept a cylinder on the top surface of the car and I mounted a camera on its top surface. Then I accelerated the car. Then what I could see is that the cylinder is moving backward as if someone is pushing it. The cylinder is moving in the direction opposed to the direction of the acceleration of the car as if someone is pushing it. When I applied the brake, that, that means I applied a negative acceleration. Then I could see again the cylinder is moving in a direction opposed to the direction of acceleration. When I observe from outside, I could see the cylinder is accelerating in the direction of the car along with the car. Now let's look into the free body diagram of what happens there. So we have a cylinder of mass M and radius R and this is kept on an accelerating plank and the plank or the car has an acceleration capital A in this direction. When the car is accelerated, when you observe from outside, you would see the cylinder is also moving in that direction. So the cylinder is also having an acceleration in that direction. That acceleration we call it as small letter A. When you observe from a frame of reference which is attached to the plank, you would measure an acceleration A prime. Let's take the direction of acceleration is in that direction and we will find what exactly its direction later. So A prime is the acceleration of the cylinder when we observed from the frame of reference which is attached to the plank which is accelerating with a capital letter A in this direction. Now what we observe is that the cylinder is rolling so along with the linear acceleration it has some angular acceleration so angular acceleration we call it as alpha prime when measured from a frame of reference which is attached to the plank or car. Now let's see what are the force acting on the cylinder. So when you observe from a frame of reference which is attached to the plank, you see someone is pulling the cylinder in the direction opposed to the direction of acceleration of the plank and that force we call as fictitious force and there is a frictional force which is opposite to the fictitious force and that we call a small letter F which is acting in this direction and according to Newton's law, the total force should be equal to mass times acceleration. So in this case, the F frictional force minus fictitious force is equal to mass times acceleration of the cylinder, which is A prime. So we got small f minus F fictitious is equal to M A prime. Now I said that along with its translation motion, it has some rotation motion. And who is giving this rotation? The fictitious force is pulling in this direction but the frictional force is pushing it in that direction. So the friction of force is giving a rotational motion. If there is no friction, the cylinder will just slide 
there won't be any rotation. So the friction force is rotating it. So the rotational force or the torque will be equal to the radius of cylinder times the friction force. It's a cross product since both of them are perpendicular. The R cross F will be RF. So you got it. R times small f is the torque acting on the cylinder, which should be equal to I alpha prime. So what we got is RF is equal to minus I alpha prime. Now there's a minus sign. This minus sign is arising because the alpha and torque are in opposite direction. The angular acceleration and torque are in opposite direction. If you want to see the sign convention, the torque will be uh, the r is in this direction and f is in this direction so r cross f will be r cross f will be in this direction but the acceleration since it is rotating in this way the acceleration is towards inside torque is outside that's why the negative sign comes so what we got is rf is equal to minus i0 alpha prime where i0 is the moment of inertia of the cylinder so we can write f is equal to minus i0 alpha prime divided by r now if the cylinder is rolling without slipping then you can convert the angular acceleration to linear acceleration so r alpha prime will be equal to a prime or alpha prime is equal to a prime by r and if you substitute back you will get f is equal to minus i zero a prime by r squared now if you substitute back to our previous equation m a prime is equal to f minus f fictitious you substitute for the frictional force so you got m a prime is equal to minus i zero a prime by r square minus f fictitious. You take the component which have a prime in one side, then you will get m a prime plus i zero a prime by r square is equal to minus f fictitious. Now you take out the a prime common outside, so you will get a prime into m plus i zero by r square is equal to minus f fictitious. Then you uh, keep a prime on one side and take all the other terms to the right hand side. So you get a prime is equal to minus f fictitious divided by m plus i zero by r square. So f fictitious, you know, it is as m capital A. Then i zero uh, is the moment of inertia of the cylinder. The moment of inertia of cylinder is m r square by two. And you if you substitute all this there, f fictitious and i zero what you get is a prime is equal to minus 2 by 3a so a prime is equal to minus 2 by 3a so which means that the acceleration of the cylinder when observed from a frame which is attached to the plank which is moving with an acceleration a is equal to minus 2 by 3 capital letter a so if the plank is moving in this direction with an acceleration a capital letter A, the cylinder will move in its opposite direction with an acceleration which is equal to 2 by third of the acceleration of the plank. Now if you want to see how the acceleration of the cylinder when you observe from outside which is from a frame of reference which is at rest, you can substitute back to the transformation equation what we got last day. The transformation equation is small a prime is equal to a minus capital letter A. And if you substitute back, you will get A is equal to 1 by 3 capital A. That means when you observe from outside, from a frame of reference which is at rest, the cylinder on an accelerating car will have an acceleration which is equal to 1 by third of the acceleration of the car or the plank. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Dr. Pradeep. Your physics teacher. If you have any doubt or comments, please comment below.